yeah, I think there is something there where, you know, referencing back to say Steve Chalk as a as a good example of this and, and broader sort of liberal Christianity is when when you disconnect the faith from both the divine and the historical, you end mm. up with all all you have is the trends of today. You know, you go, it's year yeah. zero, we can reinvent the whole thing, whatever's popular, we have no standard either that our our ancestors and and those who brought the faith to us would hold us to or that god himself would hold us to and it just ends up with with as you said a church that is basically a mirror to the culture um which is probably not not effective uh definitely not effective as we've seen um well and also the, the the interesting thing about that is with the time survey um is uh i had a conversation on um was where was it was it on the times i think it was on the times radio show um with this lady called martin oborn who's a who's a female um vicar in the church of england she's the chairwoman of an organization called watch women in the church but she was actually arguing that um that our society is reflective of the the intentions of christ and and the disciples and and that this is you know this is the way we need to go because the, the the society is actually more Christian than the church. And I actually, I was actually it was a talking head on a on a Radio Four thing as well, where there were other clergy who were responding to the survey who were saying pretty much the same thing. Like one of them said, "It's good that so many clergy recognise the Christian aspects of the the culture out there." So I think if you're gonna if you're gonna if you're gonna go down that path. There is a kind of consistency there, but but in order to in order to say that, firstly, you need to say that the, the culture out here is more Christian than the church has pretty much ever been in two thousand years, because mm-hmm. the church has never looked like this, right. uh, you know, with with you know gay marriage and and transgenderism or whatever it might be, it's never looked like that. So you've got to say that the, the society is actually more progressive than the church in that sense. But you've also got to say that our society is sort of uniquely superior to every other society that's ever right. existed, including all the other societies in the world. And to my mind, that's um, that that's very well. It doesn't sit well with a with a kind of liberal progressive critique of of cultural imperialism and you know the British right. Empire. It's, and yeah, it's like colonialism. That, it's, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a kind of intellectual and and yeah, sort of um, intellectual colonialism or what, yeah. whatever. But but you, you you know what I mean. It's it's you you have to say that our society is the greatest society that's ever existed. And also the other thing I was thinking is that if you want to say that about the church, that what we need to do is imitate the culture. There's another question there, which is: Is it just this culture that we need to Im- mm. imitate? In other words, is it a strategy that you're advocating? And I'd I'd like to ask somebody. This question, is it strategy that you're advocating? Like if we imitate the culture, then the culture will come to the church. Is that the strategy? In which case, you know, if we were in a, say, a culture where they have polygamy or where they have a kind of extreme patriarchy, should should we incorporate that into Christianity and, and hope that that speaks to the culture? Or is it, is it the case that our culture is so uniquely brilliant and amazing that we should imitate this culture and then we should sort of export a sort of liberal progressive Christianity mm. to the other nations of, of the earth or or is it even is Christianity even something that you should you should do that with I mean I, I don't know it but I, I think it's yeah the implications of it are kind of yeah sort of interesting I think yeah no absolutely yeah I think I think very much it's the second it's we need to export this if you look at the response of you know the liberal church to where Anglicanism is in fact growing and flourishing, which is mm. conservative Bible believing Anglicanism in the global yeah. south. Yeah. They they are not yeah. interested in that. They are not celebrating that. They they want that to no. be reformed and made like liberal Christianity. Very convenient that, you know, yeah. what Jesus really wants is exactly what will get us away with no uh moral um, you know, condemnation from the world. Also, just I yeah. couldn't help but smiling at the start there because you said uh, the organisation was. I think you said it was women and the church and you, watch, but I I heard women in the church and that's which, which I think is probably better. I think we could I think we could say we could we could offer a rebrand for them and uh, see if they take yeah. up on, take us up on that. Interesting, yeah. yeah. There you Interesting go. Interesting idea. Yeah. So, yeah. so what I is that? I won't comment, Jamie. That no. would get me into trouble if I comment yeah. on that. That's fine. I'm happy to, to get in that trouble. 
Thank you so much for watching. Also, thank you so much for your response to my recent videos. Some of them have just gone really well. I've been so encouraged by it. So thank you for all who have liked and shared and watched. I really do appreciate it. If you want to help this video get out there to the right people, please do like, retweet, share it, whatever way you can, whatever platform you are on. You can support the channel as per usual through wearecontramundum.com. You can get some merch or you can go to Patreon or PayPal and support us there. And finally, as always, if you are on YouTube, watch this next one.